How's it going guys? Welcome to Blues TV, your host here, Matisse, here to talk about the Neymar rumor that came out a few days ago. So to give you a bit of background, the news kind of circulated a few days ago on Twitter, on social media that Neymar could potentially be looking to make a move to Chelsea. It's a little bit unrealistic, but we're going to talk about it anyway. And first of all, before we get into that, I'm here at the Chelsea Express, just quickly having some good food. Brazilian restaurant, check it out, right near the bridge. 10% um, off as well for you Chelsea fans if you want to check it out. So let's get into the video. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to give three points for signing Neymar and three points against. We'll start with the, the pros, I guess. Now, why I would sign Neymar? He's a massive name. And obviously we just lost Eden Hazard, so it's a fantastic opportunity to instantly replace that. You know, he's going to bring a feel good factor. He's going to sell ridiculous amounts of shirts. And that all contributes to making the club money, to pushing us as a big club, pushing us for titles and trophies immediately. It's a very, you know, immediate signing, short term. It's looking for that instant success. It's trying to get us back on top as soon as possible. So that's a good point in signing Neymar. Now to counteract that, a con. For me, his injury record has looked iffy in recent years. Now, if you look at his playing time last year, it did dwindle a little bit. It was, you know, didn't really make 30 games, had a lot of little niggling injuries, and then he had a long time out as well. And that's kind of been consistent over the last couple of years. He's always kind of got injured around the knockout stages of the Champions League around the same kind of time. And if you're going to invest that much money in a player, spend that kind of money, it's going to be an astronomical deal. Loads of wages need to be paid towards him, you know, upwards, hundreds and hundreds of thousands a week. It's going to push our wage budget right out the window. He has to play games and it's not a guarantee he's going to do that, especially in a more physical league. So that's definitely a con. Another pro, Neymar is going to really, you know, push the playing level up. We've maybe, you know, we've had a good start to the season, but we're not exactly the best team in the world, right? Neymar could help push a lot of young players up. They could up their level. Training with a world-class player like that every day, day in, day out in training, that's only going to improve you. You look at the likes of Hodgson Ladoi, the likes of Ruben Loftus-Cheek, they've got great skill, great ball control. Imagine how much they could progress playing next to someone like Neymar. You know, the things you can learn in training, little, little things you can adapt to a game. This is the perfect man to bring in, top five player in the world. A con again, just to balance it out. We have a very young coaching team. Lampard, Jody, you know, Edwards, they're all very young. And if you think about it, when you have a young coaching team, it's probably smarter to get young players that are not so, you know, influential in the dressing room. They're not gonna cause a shake. They're not gonna shake up all the personalities and, and undermine you potentially because you are so young and it's only Lampard's second season in professional management. So do we really want to sign someone like Neymar who's got a little bit of a reputation for, you know, throwing his toys out the pram if things don't go right or causing any controversy or, you know, getting players siding with him? We've had a lot of issues with player power over the last, you know, decade with Roman in charge and it's maybe not the best idea to bring that back with such a young, impressionable squad, you know, still trying to push their way into the Chelsea first team. So that's, that's probably an issue that could arise if we sign Neymar. Now, my final pro, look, this player, if he does stay away from injuries, is guaranteed to get you goals. Now, as much as we have scored goals this season, we've also sometimes struggled to break a team down. We've also, you know, struggled to create from open play. A lot of our goals have come from mistakes or good pressing from Mason Mount. They haven't always been the most intricate, you know, team play goals. And, and Neymar can definitely help cut open a defence. If you look at the way Neymar plays, he's got great skill. He's, he can make an amazing pass. He can split open a defence. He's got trickery. He's got the complete package. And again, if he stays fit, he's someone who can unlock the door. And when you sign someone like Neymar, he brings attention. He brings pressure on the opposition. The fullback, the centre-back, they have to drag over and cover him. And that just creates more space on the opposite flank or in the midfield for other players. So when you sign someone like Neymar, if he's not at his best, someone else will get some joy because they'll have more space. And that could, that could lead to better performances. And for my final con on Neymar, we know his ability on the pitch, but it's everything around that. The financial burden, the astronomical fee, as I mentioned, the wage. The package is going to be huge and it's going to set Chelsea back a long way, even though they have just recouped a lot of money over the summer. We know there's a war chest, but is the war chest really big enough to you know, finance this deal? I'm not so sure. Now, there are other options on the market and that's also the downside with signing Neymar. The squad does need a couple of new signings to freshen it up for Lampard. And I feel like 
it's very hard to put your stamp on the team, which you would probably like to do, if you only go and sign one player. And I feel like that's what would happen if you go and get Neymar. He's going to cost the world and more. So you can't go and get you know any other targets or booster other areas of the squad. And we may have a stronger individual, but as a team, we may not have strengthened as much as we could have if we could have you know maybe signed a centre back or fixed our, fixed our defence and stopped conceding and you know try and balance out the money a little bit more. So for me personally, there's other targets I would pursue over Neymar, not because that they're better players, just because I feel like it would be better to balance out the money and share it out a lot more. Okay, guys, that's enough from me. Make sure you check out you know the channel subscribe if you're not turn the notifications on so you don't miss any videos go to the comment section and tell me if you don't want Neymar tell me who you do want who are your targets we'll battle down there in the comment section and if you do want him tell me why is it for the reasons I've given you or is it for your own reasons and of course make sure you check out tomorrow's video because we're going to be asking fans around the ground what they think of the rumor do they want Neymar do they not do they agree with anything that I've said or do they disagree and of course Make sure that you're tuning into this channel. This channel's going, it's moving. So don't be missing anything out. And of course, if you want to see any more of me, I don't know why you would, but if you do, I'm on Twitter, okay? The comment section, they'll, they may let you know. It may be in the bio as well. There might be a link. So if you want to check me out on Twitter, it's Matisse Amani, M-A-H. Um, but make sure you're subscribed here because that's, that's what we're really, we're really trying to push now. <laughs> Everyone, I am Sophie Rose. And I'm Lewis Gabriel Celestia, and we are your new presenters for Blues TV for the upcoming season. So make sure you click the subscribe button and keep 